To gain access to many components like the wiper motor and arms, you will need to remove the cowl, yellow arrow. Pull out the battery cover using two thumb screws, red arrows. Remove the side trim rails, green arrow, and the right side trim cover, blue arrow. For additional assistance with those tasks, if needed, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. The right side trim cover tilts up and slides out of the retaining clips, red arrows. The next step is to remove the cowl cover, blue arrow. Note how the wiper motor bracket has been stamped with a line with a zero to clock the wiper arms during installation, yellow arrow. To pull the wipers off, pop up the cover with a screwdriver, red arrow, revealing a 13 millimeter nut. Once that is off, tilt the wiper up at the hinge and pull the wiper straight up and off. Tip on the driver's side, it's easier to access the 13 millimeter nut by popping the hood up. With the wipers off, remove the covers near the wipers in the corner of the cowling, blue arrow, to uncover and remove the 10 millimeter bolt, red arrows. Remove the bolt and do this procedure on both sides. Remove the two push-pull plastic retainers that attach the cowl to the chassis from behind the battery. Red arrow, one shown. Use AT27 torque and remove the two screws holding the air filter bracket to the cowl. Red arrows. If so equipped, separate the wiring harness by the air filter. Snap the black securing clip off the connection, push in and pull apart to disconnect. Slide the wiring connection up and out from the cowl and separate the connection, red arrow. Disconnect the washer line, then pop the windshield washer nozzle out, red arrow. You can now open the hood and slide the cowl out towards the windshield, red arrows. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.